What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at the Sega Model 3 gun games using the Sinden guns. And I'm going to show you how to calibrate some of these. Uh, they're all about the same. And I'm also going to show you guys Star Wars Trilogy, which isn't really a gun game, but I configured it with the guns because it's very friendly towards uh, gunplay. So um, I want to show you that game because the way I configured it, you probably wouldn't figure it out unless I told you. So let's go ahead and get started with that one. Let's start that one up. And I'm starting these right from Rocket Launcher. You can start these from Hyperspin if you guys want to go in and, and calibrate them. So normally you don't really have to calibrate them. Calibrating it is just going to get it to be that much more precise. Uh, with the exception of Gunblade, that one I did have to calibrate because it wasn't working for me at all without calibration. So let's go ahead and start the game here. And basically the way this original controller worked for this game is you had two trigger buttons. So what I did is, you know, obviously your regular trigger on the gun is going to be your main trigger. And then the rear uh, right, uh, the rear left button is going to be your secondary trigger. So if you guys are playing, you know, you're squeezing the regular trigger, that's going to work just fine. But if you use your thumb and then you alternate between that rear left button and your trigger, it's gonna be more of like a machine gun action. So I'll show you what I mean. So this here is the regular trigger I'm firing, right? You can see the speed at which I'm firing. Now I'm gonna start alternating with my thumb and just smashing both of them at the same time, like alternating between one and the other. So here we go. You can see that it's much more of a machine gun effect. So here's the single trigger and here's the dual trigger. All right, so you know this game was meant to be played with the two triggers, so this was sh this should get you better results. Um, and then the two front buttons, the left and the right, are both the event button. So whenever it asks you to press the event button, you press either one of those, and you're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and exit this game. And now I'm just going to show you how to calibrate. We're just going to do two games. Let's do Lost World, and then we'll do LA LA Machine Guns. Um, that's what I meant by Gunblade before. Gunblade is actually the Model 2 similar game, but a Model 3 is LA Machine Guns. Okay, so first thing you want to do to calibrate is you want to press the F2 key on the keyboard. If you have something like a Logitech K400, you have to hold down the FN key first, then press F2. So here's the test menu. What you want to do now is you press the number nine on the keyboard to change selections. And we're going to go down to gun setting right there, highlight that and press the zero key. Then you press nine again to go to gun adjustment, press the zero key again. And if you read it there, it tells you select with start button and pull trigger. So the start button is the number one key. Right now we are already on the right selection over here on the left, it says right and it's highlighted yellow. So what it wants you to do is point to that right uh, light blue square over there and squeeze the trigger. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I just did it a few times just to make sure I got it right. I'm going to do the left now, so I press the number one to highlight left, and I'm going to do the same thing, point at that light blue square and squeeze the trigger. Okay, there you go. I'm going to do the top now. I'm going to do the bottom. And I'm going to do the center. All right, and then it says press test button to exit. So that is F2. Again, hold down FN, then press F2. Press number nine to go to exit. Press zero to select it. Number nine to go down to exit. Zero to select it. And let's test it out. Now, if you had two players, you would just do the same thing to the, you know, second gun. Hey, 
wiped us out. We've got to save Ian and Sarah. All right, let's go ahead and try LA Machine Guns, and uh, that'll be it. The other games are Ocean Hunter, and um, what's the fourth one? The Lost World, LA Machine Guns. Oh, yeah, so just Ocean Hunter would be the last one. All right, let's try this one out. So again, I'm going to hold down FN and then press F2 in a minute here when I see the text on the screen. Do it now. And you can see this one's a little different, but it's similar. So you press 9 to go down to aim set in this case, 0 to select it. And again, a little different, but just read what the screen says. So it says to pull, F, uh, pull 1P or 2P trigger to start 1P or 2P aim set. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna squeeze the trigger. And then this one's a little bit, like it, it doesn't really explain itself very well. So what you wanna do is you wanna point your gun at each one of the corners. I try to stay like inside of the bezel because you know we're playing this in 4.3, not widescreen. So if you do that, you're gonna see that it kinda of zeroes out when it gets up there and then you do it to the right. It kinda of stops moving after a while, the numbers. And then you go to the bottom right and then you go to the bottom left. And you can do that a few times if you want. Just go all around the screen, pointing to each corner. And then when you're done, you just press the test button. Fn down and F2. Again, nine to go to exit, zero to select. And that is it, let's give it a test. This game takes a little while to boot up because it has to go through all of these ROM checks, just like the real arcade machine. Okay, let's give this a shot. And you know, I haven't really talked about it because you guys probably know this by now, but this works just like any other gun game where if you point the gun away from the screen, the right front button is coin. If you point it at the screen, the right front button is player one start or player two start. And then if you point it away from the screen and you hold down the right front button, that is gonna be your exit. And you have to hold that down for three seconds. All right, so yeah, this is working great. So I'm gonna point the gun away from the screen, hold down that front right button for three seconds, and it kicks me out. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.